Hey, so Ryan's Angel, and I'm going to show you how to put overlays on RetroArch. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your LaunchBox directory. At least that's what I'm going to do because that's where I have my uh, RetroArch in my emulators folder. And I have a folder here called Overlays, and that's where I have all my overlays. You can see them right here. Each overlay has a configure file. So that's what we're going to concentrate on right now, on these overlays. Now, this is important. We're going to want to go to, um, this is where the cores are, and now we're going to want to go to the configure. And basically the configure files are going to tell the, uh, we're going to tell RetroArch uh, all the settings and everything. So. Basically, um, for example, the Genesis has all the uh, the right video settings, all the the size of the video I want, all all that stuff is all stored here in my Genesis configure. So basically, what I did anyway was uh, once I had that one configure of the Genesis, I just made a copy of it and renamed it whatever system. For example. I took the Genesis one and I renamed it 32X. Since the settings are basically all the same throughout all the overlays, all you have to do is rename that one file. So I took the Genesis one and I renamed it 32X and so on and so on. Sega CD, Saturn 3DO. So here's an example. I'm gonna take the Genesis config file and I'm gonna make a copy of it. I'm gonna paste it here. Now we have a copy. Now I'm going to rename it. Let's pretend I'm adding the Xbox emulator. So I'm going to call it Xbox. And now we have an Xbox. You're going to do that for every single one once you have that one configure. It doesn't have to be with Genesis. You just have to, need, you just have to set all RetroArch up the way you want it. All your video settings and save that configure, that configure file and then do exactly what I just showed you. It's easy. See, now you have all the settings right here. Now, let's go back to RetroArch. And we're going to go to Manage Emulators. And you're going to want to go to your RetroArch file. Then you're going to click Edit. And you're going to want to go to Associated Platforms. And basically, you're going to want to type this in. Um, you're going to want to put um, what you see right here. So you see it says Atari 2600 configure. Here on this side is your um, are your cores. So that that's been updated now. So you can pick so you can pick what core you want. So basically here you just put um, you just put the name of the uh, configure you want for each system. Atari 5200, 7800. Now each system has its own configure file that's associated with it so you won't you won't it won't happen that you'll see uh, overlays uh, uh, different overlay or the same overlay appear in all the systems <clears throat> basically the configure has assigned um, the overlay for each system I'll put it in the description uh, what this looks like in case you can't see it here so once that's done for each system you're going to want to go into um, into RetroArch. So now we're in RetroArch. And you're going to want to hit F1. And now you're going to want to go to on-screen display. Overlay preset. You're going to want to go to where the overlays are and now you can see all the config files here and just for the demo purpose here I'm gonna put um, I'm gonna put the wrong overlay on this one but so now I'm gonna press I'm gonna pick uh, this configure now I'm gonna press F1 so now we have the OCL overlay on the so now I'm gonna go back and um, put the right one again so we're going to pick um, Sega Genesis, let's pass it, Genesis, 
Now we got the Genesis one. Now before we leave, you're gonna to wanna to go to configurations and you're gonna to wanna to click on save current configuration and you'll notice on the bottom it saved it to that configure. So now that's associated with this one. So there you go and now you'll notice each system has its own configure and overlay. You'll notice when I press save com current configuration, the bottom again PC engine configure associated to that configure file. And there you go. I hope that helped you. Um, that's how you add overlays on RetroArch. Uh, thanks for your support guys. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.